Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs and Healthy Living for Him on Keto. I am so excited to be back with you. Um, I had all of this laid out um, yesterday and planned a couple of days ahead, but with um, the week we've had, it was a little crazy. So we kind of had a, a thing Thursday night, and then earlier in the week, a family, um, we just, a family friend was um, in another country in an ER, and so we were, um, you know, just concerned, not, n not worrying, but concerned. So give us an opportunity to be in prayer and think through, and then, you know, think about those things even in your own life, you know. Are we doing everything we should be doing? Is there something else we need to do? You know, that kind of stuff. So, all right. I'm going to quickly pray. Then we are going to plan next week. We're also going to do a prayer and praise page. And then um, how about a little memory keeping? I know. Plus, we'll talk a little bit about our scripture for the week. So let's pray and then we'll get started. By the way, do you guys like my little uh, Jesus saves rock? I don't know if it's going to stay there. I um, have these rocks outside that I had bought. Um, a while, maybe a year or two ago from Hobby Lobby and there's a whole, they all say something different and they're just so encouraging and I have them to go out into my garden. Maybe I'll put them there once I set up my flower garden. My husband and I were talking about how it's going to be done. Um, we're taking out what we call the bucket garden and that was lots of fruits and vegetables and herbs with some flowers here and there turned into a jungle mass the last two years. Um, one was with our Armenian cucumbers. It would just took everything over. So we are, I think we're going back to regular cucumbers. We'll see. And then the other was, um, we were gone and it just went crazy. So, um, you know, we didn't get rain forever. And then once we did, we were gone and it, it just was wow it was a jungle so this year i decided we don't eat as many fruits and vegetables anymore due to being keto so um in our in our eating that's how we do it and um anyway so we're thinking about i want that into a prayer another prayer garden that um is nothing but flowers so i had fun last night at walmart picking up my seeds for flowers we went to the heb today we were up very early. I accidentally left my regular alarm on. I know. So we were up early as if it were work day. Then we went over to um, our AGB um, kind of outdoor area and, you know, garden center. And so we got a bunch of, I got mainly herbs. I did get some green beans, um, which I've never been able to get to grow out here. So I'm going to try theirs. They were, it was a startling and I'm going to try it. And then um, my husband got a couple, he got some Brussels sprouts and then a whole bunch of strawberries. And we have been pouring rain all day today, um, flooding um, in the fields, things like that. Water moving in places where you never see water. So, um, but we are fine. Roads are fine. Um, and yeah, so we came home. We stopped at the butcher um, on the way home. The butcher market kind of um, turned into... And I only wanted to stop there and get some cheese. And my husband went in and it was, yeah. So we had um, roast steaks. So, you know, you buy chuck roast. We bought chuck roast steaks. They were, mm. and so my daughter and I did not eat all of ours. So more than likely, we will um, use ours for um, like steak and eggs or something. You know, something easy. And then my husband, of course, ate all his. And if he'd known, he'd eaten all ours. And I got some bacon, and it was really not good. Um, I took one bite of it. It made me think of when I got sick this fall, and I did not like it at all. So um, I had a yogurt afterwards. That's how much it upset my stomach. And then um, some keto little, um, like two little caramels that are, you know, like one carb. And just to get that taste out of my mouth. And, um, you know, but I have two more roast on the, um, the smoker still going with that bacon on top. So more than likely that would be my husband and daughters. I will not, and they're small roast, but I will not be eating that. I did not like the flavor of that bacon at all. And I will never buy that again. Um, it was my husband's idea. I said, sure. What, you know, how bacon's bacon. Bacon is not bacon. 
<laughs> I'm here to tell you, not all bacon is the same. Um, I think they cured it in-house pork belly, and they did not do a complete job. So I'm going to call, and there's a young man who always takes care of us, and I'm just going to let him know because we've had their bacon before. My husband even commented, like, yeah, you know, their bacon can be a little salty, and it wasn't even salty. So um, I didn't necessarily like the way it looked in the, in the um, I don't know what do you call it, you know, the butcher presentation area. I don't know what you call it anyways. Um, in the, oh gosh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Sorry. In the case. But um, it didn't look bad. It, it, nothing did it look bad. So, you know, it's just good lessons learned. You know, that's the great thing about us is that if I don't like it, somebody else is going to like it and they're going to eat it all up. And that's great. I mean, that's great. Nothing goes to waste. And I even gave our geese, I put out a pepper for them and um, that had started to go bad and, you know, everything, everything gets eaten. You know, that's really nice. So let's pray. We'll get started. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for all the different things we're able to get done. And thank you for the patience of everyone with our day, the way it was and our week, the way it was. And, and I had not even recognized how much it had caught up with me until this afternoon, but um, thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing. Um, we praise you. We praise you. I ask you right now on behalf of all these beautiful women that you would guide their hearts, you would guide their steps for this next week, that they can um, enjoy this process of planning and preparing their pages and um, help everything that we do be pleasing to you, Lord. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We bow down before you. We lay at your feet and we praise you all day long. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. <clears throat> so, I am going to push pause for a second. I will be right back. I will put this together in the next segment. But I had wanted to show you guys something different for your planners this week. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so I'm back. I wanted to show you guys. So, I make a keto chow custard and this is eggnog and i just put a little bit of and i use these little mason jars they are the perfect size um and i you know sprinkle it with a little cinnamon but um and i will have that that'll be my treat after um so what i do is i use um I, these canning jars because they work well they can handle the heat I have a lot of the Pyrex, but they are, they're rubber tops if they get lost, you know, that kind of a thing. Because if I send it with my husband, I may or may not get it back. So I just decided that the one thing I have lots of, because, you know, guys, when we were vegetarian vegan, we canned a lot. And I canned a lot more than I realized I was going to can. Like the first year of the pandemic, I canned over 200 jars. I mean, well over 200 jars. And that may be nothing to some people, but to kind of go from not much canning to can everything you can touch. <laughs> yeah. And we still have a lot of that. I can't eat it. My husband can't eat it because we've changed our diet now. But it's there in an emergency, you know. So, well, I thought we would take these rings and I'm going to see how it works. So, this is just the um, band. And um, I am going... To pull out. I love this, by the way. I love this. So let me show you what I did. Oh, goodness. I, oh no. Silly me. Um, I have absolutely 110%. I love this. Um, it has turned out to be such a good decision. Sorry, guys. Um, this was just a Bible cover. I know. And, um, if I could get to the one that's my husband's, it's chickens, but it's too small. It's too small for our Bibles that I got us. So I got to get, I got to get on that pretty quick, but I put all of my dot, um, they're called dot friction pins are here. I put a permanent marker and then a couple highlighters. I have, um, little, um, envelopes for our church for our tithe, my little, um, ruler that I love. And then just an extra paper clip, my um, chronological Bible reading. And then I got these darling little um, booklets at Dollar Tree. Sometimes I have them, sometimes I don't, but I loved them. And so this one says, let everything you say um, be good and helpful, Ephesians 4.29. And I just love that they're decorated. They have that scripture. And then I have mine from the kit, which I love. 
And then I have one more in the back. Hold on. Let me show you. Okay. Sorry, my hands are really stiff today from all the rain. If we say we are his, we must follow the example of Christ. And that's 1 John 2, 6. So um, I haven't, I think one of these is going to be um, my, my personal Bible study or prayer journal. And then one of these is going to be, um, then, then the other one will be sermon notes. Now you easily have space within your journal to keep your sermon notes every week. But, um, for me, um, it would just be great if I had a designated and maybe our church does a bulletin with a, um, a page for note taking and it's pretty well done. But I think what I'm going to do is stay with that system, keep it in my other notebook for my um, Sunday night, and then if we can finally get to Wednesday night, Wednesday night. But um, this, um, I was thinking my online pastors, the online preachers that I love. Now, all I did was take one of those rubber bands, and I went middle, middle to middle. You know, the large rubber bands, like seven-inch rubber bands, you can get them at Walmart or Amazon. And I just added it in because the only way to put this in is to put it down here, but I didn't want to lose that cover. And then down below, I can just slip it in. So it's no big deal. So, all right. So there's that, but I am going to go ahead and pull this out and then we'll take it out. I have loved this, um, this month's study. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I was listening to someone who I love, uh, Sister in the Lord, talk about um, just focusing on the, um, you know, if it's just one verse a day. And I love that. Um, you know, for me, I, I want big passages. I want to get through the whole Bible. You know, I'm, I've just got big goals. And then I realized that we need to meditate on one one passage. You can do that. One passage, right? Okay. So, um, let me walk you through. I am, so here's my monthly. I haven't added much. I don't know if we're going to go camping next weekend. We may wait and go the next weekend, which I kind of am thinking we might. I still have to get the camper done, but this last week has been so pretty. I'm going to put, um, a picture here and I just haven't done it yet. Um, I did begin on my main goals. And then my, we did this together last time. I moved over my February goals. And then, um, of course, I have my weekly. I have my things for next week. I've started that list. And then um, goals for my youngest, my scripture writing. And we this week was 1 Corinthians 3, uh, 13, 4. And then this is where I am going to have our, um, our weekly. So, and... Clearly, I'm making notes, <laughs> and I'm just going to save this back here. I'm going to reuse that because that's that erasable pen. I can erase it, reuse it. I love this. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, it just came off. Okay, so I'm going to re-glue that, but I have my my Elmer's Craft. That will hold it. Um, I have loved this because it fits so nicely down in that Bible cover. So nicely. So you're probably thinking, what does she mean by bubbles? We are going to do bubbles. So hang with me. Where did I put? Okay. I have my pen here. Now, um, I am going, this is going to be February. And it begins on, let me see, Sunday, which is the 11th through um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, and that is 2024. You can use your stickers. You can use the um, die cuts I sent you, or you can do this by hand. Today, I'm going to be showing you things that are just different, okay? So I am going to not have 100% space on here. This is bigger than I had thought it would be, but hang with me. I'm going to show you something. So I am going, so this is going to be Sunday, and then I'm going to overlap with Monday and drop it a little bit. So then it'll go Monday, and then, because the weeks are connected, I'm going, hmm, no, maybe I'll just go like that. I think I'll go like this. 
So I'll connect like that. And that's Tuesday. And then I want to go Wednesday. And um, that is how simple it is to do something different. Isn't that fun? So this is going to be Sunday. And I can use my die cuts. I'm just going fast for you guys. Monday, I may come back, erase, and then do it. Or I may just leave it the same. Um, but you do have enough if you got the kit to do all four weeks. Um, five weeks, I think. Okay, and then um, Tuesday. And then Wednesday. Now, that gives me space around here to write or to write my scripture for the week, or I can um, uh, put stickers, decorations, whatever I'd like. And then I'm going to come over here and do, um, and I'm going to take this one high. Okay, Thursday. And then Friday. And then Saturday. Now, I purposely left a lot of space at the bottom. And I will show you why. Hold on. Let me get my ruler. I am just going to draw a line. And then this will be for the next week. Um, our anniversary is this week. It is Thursday. So um, we have planned to, like I said, go on a trip. But we are just, we're exhausted. I literally fell asleep before I got on. I, I don't do that anymore. I used to always do that when my autoimmune was just so bad and I fell asleep. I had turned on a YouTube, um, channel that I love and I just was out. I mean, it did not take long at all and I was just snoozing away. So, um, I think, and I felt like God was saying, you need to slow down a little. You need to slow down a little. So, <laughs> I think maybe the Lord's trying to tell me something. Um, yeah. So one of the nights this week, we were up until almost 3.30 in the morning. And um, because of something that happened and everything's fine. But, um, you know, in the moment, you're just, I can't sleep. I mean, there's no way I could sleep. I've got to stay awake. And it was something I had to stay awake for. And so anyways, but all right. Isn't that cute? It's just so stinking cute. That's all it is. It's just so stinking cute. Now, I had also determined if or thought about, did I want to put something like this in here? And um, and I think I'm going to. So what I'm going to do with this is I am going to fold this in half and let this be um, a place where I can um, print out some pictures I'm going to spend tonight. Still, I'm still working on the kits. The kits are ready to go. I just have to cut the paper. And I want to get that video up tomorrow. And I just wanted to, um, you know, think through exactly what I'd like. So, okay, this I want to put on the inside here. And the reason why is, do you see what's on here? It's like the logo from this store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one in, I think, no, it doesn't fit. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do that. I am going to, I'm going to change my mind. Okay. Um, I was hoping I could get this in. I do not think this is going to fit. Let me see. Maybe, you know what? Why not? It's okay if I overlap on Saturday a little, I'm going to go with that. Okay. Um, that's good. Okay, so we're going to make a little um, booklet to go in. And in this, I am going to write um, the thoughts on my marriage. So I love this. I think it's sweet. Love, true love. Um, sweet, will you be mine? Kiss me. Um, smitten, you hold my hand and heart. Um, love with all your heart. I love that. So I think this is so charming. And I love this vintage. It's just so cute. Um, I am going to put that in there. I'm going to use pictures to cover up the rest. And then, um, so we'll finish this in a second, but that's something I want to do. Okay. So there's that. I also have all of these. So, all right, let me just kind of get going here. I'm just kind of floundering. I'm sorry, guys. You think I would have it together, but I didn't have it together. I'm so sorry. It's in my brain. It's just, uh, 
my brain's still sleepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So if you have the kit, these are great. These are just stickers. Isn't it wonderful? It's so easy. All right. Now, I am thinking... No, I think I'm going to let that be something that goes in. And then I'm going to stick with my flower idea. Okay. So I am just going to... Put this down. I had thought about putting something behind it, and I think I'm good. I think I'm good, because by the time I get this all in and covered and all that good stuff, it's going to get busy. So, I love that. So, I'm going to put that there, and then what did I do with my patience? I'm losing my patience. What did I do with my patience? <laughs> I've lost it. What did I do? <laughs> okay, sorry. I know. I'm tired. What can I tell you? I'm tired. This has been just one of those. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start loading. I'm going to pull these back out and do some things with them. So do not think I'm through. And I'm going to also put that in there. I love that. And I love this color. Hold on. I put this in here in between the whites. And then I do have this one that I am going to somehow put in here too. So, um, and then I will... Show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. That may even be in the wrong thing, the wrong stack. I was, oh, there's patience. Okay. Now, I wanted to see if I would do better. What's the best way to do this? Oh, yeah, that works. Okay. So, I'm going to get my glue and glue this down. So, anyways, um, hold on. Let me see real quick. There's anything else I want to put down. Okay, I do have some things. Okay. All right, I think we're good. All right. Now, when you have something like this and it has a lot of little ends, you want to make sure you get those ends good. You know, because they're going to stick off and you're going to bump it when you're riding. You just really want to make sure you get it down good. Um, and what I'm going to do is just kind of quit squeezing out glue and now just kind of paint it with the tip of my, um, so it won't be so thick. And what it's going to do is pick it up and then just put it back over here. And so, and then I just have a couple I haven't glued yet. And I'm just going to put a little glue and then just drag it back. So you guys know how to glue, but um, I know a lot of people don't like using glue. They like using other things. I like using glue, number one. It holds really well. Number two, um, it is something that you can move so I can adjust this, if you can see. So, um, I like glue. And especially in anything that's going to have a lot of like up and down, I think it's a great tool. All right, now we have this beautiful little sticker. And I believe I had gotten these at Hobby Lobby years ago. And I got, we have a couple of these in different um, parts of the kit. So, um, and that flower is from, I believe, Simple Stories. So, there is nothing wrong with the sticker. It's all wrong with my eyes. So, give me just a second. I had out, I think I've got some tweezers. Let me see if I can get this with the tweezers. So, but yeah, no, I fell asleep. And have you ever had a nap where you're just like, I can't wake up. What is wrong with me? Wake up, wake up, wake up. It was one of those. Um, if you've ever had surgery where they've had to put you under, that's that was kind of almost similar to that. I was just like, wow, you know, because when you come out of surgery, sometimes you just, you want to keep going, you want to keep sleeping, and they want you to wake up. They need you to wake up. So, all right, here we go. Here we go. So, isn't that pretty? I mean, it just, it's just lovely and delicate and pretty and i love that okay there's that so um so i have all kinds of note cards i can write on um i am going to go ahead and start gluing some of this down and then that way this can be drying um but yeah that's i was just in la la land but, and I couldn't believe that I, I wasn't tired Friday. I mean, I stayed up late last night. I was just like, uh-oh, help this not be my habit. Because sometimes, you know, I can get in the habit of staying up late. 
And um, yeah, now I'm going to come on this side. I was looking at it thinking, oh no, you need to go on the other side. And then I will officially cover that little bit there. There's a little tiny sliver sticking out, but that's okay. Um, isn't that cute? I love that. I love the vintage valent. I love anything vintage, but especially vintage valentine. Okay, now we also, I have one of these really <clears throat> pretty roses. And I think I'm just going to come up through the middle right there. And this is one that you just have to take your time and just paint it. That's all I can say. Just take out a little bit of glue and then just paint it on. Um, you're going to get it on you, and that's okay. That's why there are sinks and faucets and <laughs> wipes and paper towels. Um, but you don't want to overdo it, and you don't want to underdo it. So you just want to hit it just right now. I also have also done the ones where you put the, you know, the sticky back on it. I just find sometimes even when you pull up the sticky back, if you're not careful, you can rip it. So I just kind of like doing the glue. I mean, like I said, I see glue is an inexpensive tool that is just lovely. I mean, it just, it gives you a lot of time to play, to adjust, like right there. If I had done a tape, that would have never come back up. It would have been, no, it would have never come back up because it's so thin. So there's that. Hold on. Let me get my little wipe. And then if you have glue, you just pat it down. And then just make sure you either put something down on it, like wax paper or parchment paper or plastic of some sort, um, or it'll stick to the other page. And you don't want that. You want it just to dry first. Okay, now... Um, Hmm. All right, so I've got a bunch of different things here. So this is the punched ones that I did for you guys. I love these. So I just grabbed um, some stickers, some tabs, just some bits and pieces, and just to decorate it. Why not? So I love the wax seal. Those are so cute. So that one's done, at least on that part right now. And then on this one... This is a folded, just a piece of index card. So what I'm going to do is, hold on, I thought I had put something out for this. Um, you could cover it, you know, if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm going to save that for something else. Hold on. Okay. Um, I thought I had one more thing out. I don't. So hang with me. I'm going to pick up something. In the meantime, I am going to put on this little sweetie this can be drying it's just one of those tabs i punched for you guys i think these are so sweet um and it just makes a darling little tabbed card always double check to make sure it will fit <laughs> you know you try it one way and then oh my goodness i get ready to put the glue on and it's the other way well this is pretty square so we're okay but just wanted to be sure <laughs> hold on here we go. All right, just going to wipe that down a little bit. Let that dry. And then, let me see where I put my stickers. Hang with me. So, I hope you guys are enjoying your kits. I hope you are enjoying this journey. Um, it's an opportunity. I have some washi. I think I'm going to do washi. Um, I, it's an opportunity to try new things, do new things. Oh, I like that better. Um, this is your time. So I just want you guys to enjoy, have fun, um, get out your, your jar tops, your whatever you want to use. Have fun. So I am just going to go like that. And then I have a little journaling spot. And that makes it fun. Hold on, guys. Ugh. My husband kept trying to take my scissors the other day so I found myself hiding scissors <laughs> so <laughs> even in my craft stuff he knows better but they've taken all my kitchen chairs again I don't know what they're doing with them <laughs> so ugh, I mean I buy scissors I don't know maybe four times a year and I don't put down like two scissors in the kitchen I put like four and I guess that means come and take me <laughs> come and take me while you can so anyways but Bless their hearts. Bless their hearts. Okay. So, and that is so simple. Isn't that just simple? And you can give it a title. You can do whatever you want. 
So I have these and whoops, let me throw that away. Okay, hold tight. You say, hey, believe in yourself. Today's full force of uh, possibilities. I think, will that fit? It will. So I think I am going to put this on here. Today is full of possibilities. And then I can use this as a to-do list. Isn't that cute? And seriously, this black pen works perfectly. Let me show you. So I can just list my to-dos just like that. Isn't that cute? I know. So um, I like that cover. So I'm going to put that there. This is going to be my little journal, but I may want to find something. So hold on. Um, I love throw kindness around like confetti. Uh, here's the live, create, tell the story. So I love that. Okay, so I am going to put this. Let's hope it fits. If it doesn't, ah, I should have measured it before I even started to put it down, but don't do as I do. Learn from my mistakes. Perfect. Now that was the Lord, okay? I couldn't have done that if I tried. Hold on. Can I adjust that one? It kind of is going downhill, maybe. Okay. All right, there we go. So I love that. I'll probably find something that I'll put here later. But I love that now I can tell the story of this week. And that's cute. Okay, now on this one, um, when nothing is sure, everything's possible. I love that. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Stay curious. Um, hold tight to your dreams. I'm going to put down this one, Be Amazed. And I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to list, I'm going to pay attention this week to the things, or you know what, I'm going to put it here. The things that God shows me. So, God's, be amazed. Well, I got that cricket again, too. I think I'm just going downhill right now. Okay. I'm having to sit back from the table so that for the camera, so that's kind of the issue. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm going to get it, I promise. And my nails have to be redone. Sorry, guys. I ordered one of those um, dip kits because I don't want them scuffing up my nails anymore. And I don't like the shape. It, it makes my nails hurt. So I think I'm going to take that off. And then I'm going to do my own dip kit. So it'll be fun. Okay, be amazed. And I'm going to put... Um, God, uh, what do I, want? I was going to say God's blessings. Um, be amazed at Jesus. That's what I'm going to do. Whatever I can see Jesus moments this week, and that's where I'm going to put that. All right. Now, on this one, let me see. What else have I got? Okay, I'm getting close to the end over there. And I want to do something for my marriage on this. So, okay, we're getting there. Um, throw kindness around like confetti. So this last week, I ran over to the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I told you guys this. And if I did, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself. But I met this lady. She was a veteran. And she just wanted to talk. And so um, I was really tired. I had or I had been kind of shopping and, you know, and, and uh, going through the line and talking to the lady in the line and the person behind. And like I always do, you know. And I think I'm going to turn this one around. No, wait a minute. I'm going to put this on this side. So this is going to be how to bless my husband. Throw kindness around like confetti. So since it's our anniversary, um, I'm going to put my sweet, sweet husband. Okay, and I've been calling him that for, I don't know how, it's on my phone. Anyways, but um, she really just, she was very lonely. I could tell she was lonely. It was clear she was lonely. And even though I came out and I was, my knees were killing me. Seriously, I was in tremendous pain. Um, I realized, you know what, Lord, thank you for this opportunity. And um, so I just enjoyed talking with her and in the end she looked at me she was 72 and she goes 
we're just a lot alike and we, we're very different. Um, I don't know if she's a believer, um, but it was one of those opportunities where she was like, I just want to give you a hug. And I said, okay. And so she gave me a hug and I was worried because your know, daughter's been sick and all that, but, um, it was one of those opportunities where <sighs> just take the time, just take the time and enjoy this and don't feel rushed and don't think about your knees and don't think about, you know, I mean, I had to move a couple of times because my knees hurt, but I love the stickers. So that's going to be scripture. I'm going to look up in addition to this week. Don't you know when you like, I literally was just looking something up this week that was not on any of my Bible studies. It was just, that was it. Okay. So there's that. I have that. And so this, um, I saw something. Okay. This is my take risks. So, um, I was going to write about my, um, but I already did my sweet husband. So this one I am going, this is take risk. This is my Josephine's designs. Yep. Right now there's a lot of things kind of in the works and, and that's another thing I'm having to work two or three projects ahead, which is normal for most people. But when you haven't done it for a while, it's, uh, you know, cause I'm in prayer so much for everything we do, but anyway, so it's all good. Now I love this one. So I'm going to fold this in half and I am going to stick it in like this, but I'm going to stick this in here and make a little card for my husband. Cause aren't those cute? I know. I think this is so cute. Okay. And he used to be a weightlifter. So and he started back this week. And I was just like, ooh. Um, he's had back problems. So pray, pray he's okay. Now remember, you can use these on your days of the week. I just didn't. I was able to write it in fast and I was okay with that. So I'll just save these for next time. And then let me see where we're at. Okay, 30 minutes. And I think I'm done with that. So um, I am not going to use this. I will save this for something else. Um, just like I saved my deli paper. Hold on. My deli paper. So, but this is really cute too. Um, you can literally fold it, line things. This, I love the deli paper. Um, I, it's great to lay under. It was something I had contemplated putting underneath, but I, you know, decided not to. Now, the other thing I want to put down on here is I'm going to put my scripture down here for the week and then I'm going to put next week. So I like keeping um, a running tally of things that like either carry over or um, just something else in addition to that I think I need to do. Okay, so there is that. Let me grab my, this is the best thing since peanut butter. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. So I love using it. So this is 1 Corinthians. I hope you guys can see me. Okay, 13. And then next week we are doing verse 5. So I'm going to write that out. Um, and I'll start it, but I won't finish it with, with you guys, I don't think. It does not um, act disgraceful. disgracefully, sorry, and then it does not seek its own benefit. This is love. It does not seek its own, and I could have scooched that better if I had been thinking about it, its own benefit, and then it is not provoked. So as you go through your week, really think about the scripture, really apply it to whatever is going on in your life. Because I guarantee you the minute you start meditating, writing, praying, um, memorizing this scripture, because if you write it enough, you eventually will kind of, you know, love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous. Love does not brag. It is not arrogant. That was last week. It's easy when you start writing. Um, say it out loud, read it, you know, do the whole thing every time you write it. So, um, but as you go through the week, you're going to see where you're provoked. Is it loving to let yourself be provoked? Is it loving, um, 
to act disgracefully? Is it loving to seek your own benefit? I know you have to think about that. So, and it does not keep, okay, hold on. It does, whoops, sorry guys, not keep um, an account of wrongs, I think, of, of a wrong suffered, of a wrong suffered. Now remember, use the translation you're most comfortable with. You do not have to do what I do. Okay, and again, 1 Corinthians 13, 5. The hardest thing for me are the addresses. So, that's it. I'm done. This week is ready. I have a place that I can make lists and write a card and things I need to do this week. Um, I've decorated it with a little um, rose. I've written my scripture out. I have next week. This is easy peasy, lemon squeezy, simple. And all I did was use a canning jar ring. That's all I did. So find things that you have in your home and go, hmm, hmm, what can I do with that? All right. I'm going to end this segment, come back with the next segment, and we will do the prayer and praise. I'm just going to get everything kind of straightened up. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, friends, we're back. Um, this is a very different kind of layout as well. Today was all about how can we do it differently? How can we do it differently? So um, we will read some from our little devotional here in a minute. But, um, oh, hold on. I'm going to lose that if I don't put that away. I don't want to lose my days of the week. Okay. So this is prayer and praise. And of course, I will reuse that sticker. And so I'm going to build this. So I pulled out some things that I thought would be cute on it. Got my little gal there. I also have my pr prayers and blessings. So, um, there's that. I also have my title, Delight in the Lord. I'm going to put that there. I also am going to use this. And you guys are probably thinking, why did you give that to us? It doesn't fit a page. It just doesn't fit, Chris. Why would you give that to us? Hang with me. So, all right. I'm going to put this behind. I don't need that right now. Um, and then, so I'm going to show you what I was going to build. So I pulled the pages I wanted to work with. I also pulled, okay, I was going to maybe use it for memory. Oh, I am going to use it for memory keeping, so that's okay. I had pulled these out for prayers and praise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this here. I am going to layer, let me pull that off. I don't need that. I will reuse that. Um, I am going to layer this underneath. Isn't that? cute I know and then I'm going to come in here and layer that underneath there isn't that pretty I know because this is kind of a brighter pink than that but it kind of like neutral it down and then I am going to put a little pocket here so we are getting all this. Now, I had pulled these out to see if I wanted to use that. I decided no. Did I want to do that? I decided no. And that's what you do. You just try on different papers, looks. You do what works for you. But when I got through, I thought, doggy, that looks good. <laughs> I liked it. So, <laughs> you know, doggy. <laughs> but, all right. So I'm going to pull out Tape Runner. Because there's going to be so many layers, I don't want all that. Now, you can trim this down. You don't have to make it as big. You can only, if you don't feel like you want you, you want to save your paper. Guys, I know every trick in the world to keep it. I mean, when I got into scrapbooking officially teaching, I literally did everything I could to save every little thing. It was like, okay. Let me see how, how I would literally cut out the inside if I was laying a, a paper on top. I mean, I would save everything and there's nothing wrong with that. And it is perfectly fine. It works beautifully. Okay, so I am going to bend that there. And, you know, I may get it in there perfectly. I may not, but that's okay. And I am going to put a little bit of this here and then I'm going to come in with some glue and the reason why is 
um, the the this will hold it down till that glue comes and, and sets up. But you have to be careful with tape runner; it can pull it and tear it because doilies are just not super sturdy. They're kind of made with you know cheaper, cheaper, cheaper you know paper. Not to be mean, but it's true because <laughs> they're meant to be disposable, like when you're serving you know desserts or things like that. So um, I've got to get all my stuff together for my husband. Um, my daughter was supposed to pull out the gift bags that I got to get sent off for the grandbabies. And, um, but I got their stuff, some of their stuff today. And then I had picked up some stuff for them before. So I'm excited. Um, I'll get those off. Um, and then I got to get my stuff ready for my husband. And then next week, once everything is said and done and I get everything done, I'll be going up to the city. And then, um, if we're going in the camper, which I don't think we're going to, I think we're going to skip a week. Um, then I've got to get the camper ready. If not, then I will do it the next week, but I will start, um, some next week and Monday. I may be pre filming the whole week because I want to be with my husband. I want to go out. He doesn't know yet. I'm going to ask him, let's go to a steakhouse. Um, I don't know where, maybe in Austin when we're up there or somewhere, I'm not sure. Now I am going to just use this here. I don't have a problem with that. It's going to hold that down well and see how that crease just made it so easy to line it up. It's just like, why didn't I ever do that before? I mean, it's just like when you fold it uh, or you wrap a gift, you fold it down and then tape it. It's so much easier, you know, just so much easier. Okay. Now, since there's not any play here, I'm going to make sure I get this done very carefully. Okay. Now, some of you have in your kits different cuts of this, but it, it's all, um, oh, they're all so beautiful. So, everybody has aligned in the kit. Now, I am going to just go with this and this and... I know. I'm making a pocket. I never say make pockets out of tape, which I think what I'll do is I'll put glue because your things will stick as you try to put it in there. But, um, yeah. So this is a very different prayer and praise page. I hope you're going to like it. Um, I am just layering, layering. So if you can see, I'm letting the pink stick out. I'm going on top of this little pre Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to shake you guys. Sorry. Earthquake. And then this is going to just kind of overlap a little bit. And I'm okay with that because that is fine with me. So I am going to just glue this one side. Okay. And I will describe why I'm doing this in just a second. Let me get this glue down. And I'm being a little bit more generous with this glue. I'm going to have to be careful. Um, I should have done this earlier probably. And then let it dry but I'll just have to lay something down okay now I'm going to again just use your cloth dab up any excess glue and this is damp and so you can see it's kind of like make it a bigger mess than I wanted to but that's okay it will all dry it will all dry now so what I'm gonna do is go back in my kit and grab some little cards and you've got tons of them um, because I give you all my cuts. I save all the cuts and give them to you. So I want everybody to have a big selection. So um, that, I love that. Isn't that cute? That's going to go in there with this. And then I'm going to put some behind. So in the bigger pocket, I am going to put maybe one part of that. And that'll tie that page together. All right. So I've got that. And then I might put one more How about some bright red. There we go. Okay. I can't tuck it down in there tight because it's all got to dry, but that gives you some ideas. All right. And the reason I'm putting these here, is this is the prayers page. That is the blessings page. So let's title it. Okay. First, I want to put down um, delight in the Lord. So hang with me. I was going to put it here. Hmm. It doesn't quite fit, does it? 
No, it does. It can fit. It can fit. I'm making myself, I'm making it hard on myself. Oh no, I almost dropped it. Okay, so I'm going to dig this back out again and let it pull it up. So I'm going to have to pull it back just so I can see it, but I can tell you what I'm thinking. So I love these. I love these stickers. We are using them now twice, and I think it's wonderful. Um, I think it's important to, to put down encouragements, find things that encourage you, encourage others. If you're giving this to someone else, it's all that. And these were just from Hobby Lobby years ago. They were in my stash, and when I'm getting ready to pull these kits together, I just look through my stash. I order a lot of things, but I also look for last-minute pretties that I can add in. And this was definitely one of those. And look how nicely, and it will reinforce that corner. And do you see the butterflies? I know. I love that. Okay, that will dry pink. It's just got to dry. Okay. <laughs> just want to encourage you. It will dry pink, I promise. Okay. Oh, no. What I drop? Okay. Praise the Lord. If I had to drop anything, it was the light. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to set this kind of like in here. I'm not going to put it in here because I want that to good and dry. Okay. Now, so this is the prayers page. Hang with me. So in your kit, you get a, a um, die cut and blessings. And maybe I'm going to put the blessings like that. Isn't that cute? So blessings and prayer. I love that. And I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to see if I can't do it. Nope, I can't. Okay. So back to the glue. Hang with me. So as you guys in your walk and you're going through whatever God has for you this week, make sure you're in prayer. Make sure you're in the word. And if I had to say anything, pray the word. Pray the word. Um, Friday, we had a, um, I guess it was last night, yeah, we had signed up for my husband and I each for 30 minutes, and we were doing a prayer thing with our church around, you know, praying without ceasing 24 hours of prayer, and we all signed up for a time, and we went to the church, and it was so sweet. It had, um, if you're, if you're um, part of the channel and you get all the, um, you, you're signed up for all the um with the bell, you know, the announcements, you can see a picture of the little prayer table they had set up for us. And I didn't take a picture, but they'd also set up a beautiful table for, um, head coffee and tea, tea, chai tea, um, cider, cocoa, you know, decaf coffee, the whole thing. And, um, and, and water in a, in a thing of ice, a little bowl of ice. And so, and then we went into the room, you can see the picture of how they have the desk set up and there was more to it. And I just, we didn't have much time, you know, cause somebody comes out, you go in and it's a lot that it, our pastor put together a prayer, um, kind of journal and it was wonderful. And then you write a prayer at the end and it was just so wonderful. I, I really hope he'll share a copy with that. Cause that is so good. I'd love to, you know, share some of that with you guys. Um, maybe when we go through our next, um, it, it at one point this year, we're going to go through back through and, and study prayer again, and um, anyways, and a friend and I were talking about this, oh, about a month ago, because um, she's been writing on prayer as well, and I told her, I said, oh, you, you can't not talk about prayer, I mean, it's just what, it, it's everything, it's where we get to know Jesus, where we can hear his voice, where we can be grateful, where we can praise his name, where we can seek his will, you know, the whole thing, and so, Anyways, it was so beautifully done, and I was just so, so touched by it. So if you haven't gone, go see that little um, picture that when I did the announcement last night that I wasn't going to be able to, you know, film last night. I, um, my husband, he was just like white on rice. Um, so with our daughter having been sick so long, he hadn't had a buddy. Um, they did go down today and play some games. That's why it's nice and quiet. But now they're out, I think, on the mini house, which, praise the Lord, and all that. So I am going to put this beautiful lady, hmm, lady, let me see. Can she? She can go right there. Why not? Let's do it. Um, but, oh, I think I'm almost out of tape rubber. I think I am. Hmm. Let me see. Is it? Oh, I'm out. Okay. Um, there's a story of my nephew 
and one of my nephews and of him he's super funny he's just a funny guy and um anyways i'm not going to get into the story but um mama was trying to teach a lesson and he was like why you do that mama what we can't you know, he was little bitty little bitty and so he got to the point where it dawned he's a very bright kid very bright and um young now he's a young adult but anyways um and she was trying to teach him and he he was like but why why we do that mama what you know but mama but mama and all of a sudden he was like i done i'm you know in other words i'm out i'm done and so it's just like every time i think of that i think of him and i just think i could just i can hear him saying it i can totally hear him saying i done i done i done <laughs> So, anyways, but our poor little tape runner, it was done. Okay, so I am going, because there's something on here, I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to decorate the back of this. And then I can journal on that. So you can take little bits. So when you have like offshoots or broken pieces, like in some of the stuff I sent you guys, um, I just kept it on there because there's broken pieces. You can find all kinds of things to do with that. So I'm going to take the other part of that broken piece like that that torn piece and then you don't have to cut it but i'm going to because that's my jam and then i'm going to put this one at the top and then that way i mean it's the top to me it could be the, either way you know but um anyways but every time i think about that i done i done <laughs> oh goodness and i could i could totally see him saying that okay so one two there's that um, I want something on here. I think I have put these out. I think I'm just going to give them a little bow. Why not? These are so sweet. I am just going to... Nope, and put it at the top. Actually, put it at that corner because when it sticks out, it'll be easier to stay on longer. This one I'm okay because it's cut. And these are ready for the big pocket. The big, big pocket. Yes. And then, and even though that covered it up a bit, it made it so I couldn't get in, I could come back in with an X-Acto knife and cut that and then do that. But I don't need to do that. I could literally even just turn it like that if I wanted to. Um, or you want to, whatever you would like to do. And then I'm going to put, she did not get super wet, so I could put her in. And that is that. So I have my prayers and my blessings, and I can write those down. These can be private for anybody who says, please pray and put this in the vault. Let it be private. Also, you can lift this up and you can write things here. You can write a scripture on prayer. You could do whatever you like, guys. This is your prayer. This is your journal. This is your faith journal. It is your walk with the Lord. Okay, I'm going to pause, get reset back up, and I will do the last page, which is going to be the fastest memory keeping page in the West. Okay, I love you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, friends. Hi, this is Chris. I'm back. Um, I was looking for tape runner for the next page, but that's okay. All right. I feel like it's dry enough that I can go ahead and fold this down. I wasn't sure, but wanted to be. Now, I have skipped a page because um, I also want us to focus on scripture writing. Oops, hold on, guys. Okay, there we go. Now, you can do scripture writing here, or you can do memory keeping. I'm going to go ahead and do my memory keeping, and then, um, hold on, let me make sure, because I usually do it after the week, but I got, I got, I got, uh, I got excited. Okay, so when I'm, I'll do my scripture writing at the end, and I don't like it to be at the end. I don't want it to be at the end, you know, but I am going to have to come back in and glue that a little tighter. Okay. Here we go, and I'm not sure what I did, but we are going to move forward. Okay, memory keeping. So, this is going to be a fun week for Valentine's for most people. For us, it's our anniversary. So, I wanted to be sure to prepare some pages very quickly, very easily, um, and I wanted to show you what you can do with your pop-up, and I'm literally doing cutesy, cutesy things, okay? Just cutesy. Oh, that was for one of my pockets, so hang with me. Let me do that. These, I will go back and put them in one of my pockets real quick. 
um, nope, I'm not going to put that there. Hang with me. I think I'm just going to put it in here. So this one is, this one says, um, happy day, um, ordinary day. And this one says bad day. So you can tear them off. And I thought those are cute. Um, okay. I am going to put this in here and it can just come up the top and stick out. And then I have this too. So these are like little, um, coupons that say, um, love you so much. Um, you know, these love notes. And then it says, hold on, love, 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 love. So you might want to um, use that with your sweetie or your grandchildren or whoever. You can give them a ticket and um, and then write something fun on it. So that was my plan for all that. Let's go back. We are going to do this as simple and easy as possible. And then I'm going to show you afterwards what it might look like for you. Um, and trying to figure out where's all my glues and all that. So, um, I'm going to make a pocket. And the reason I'm going to is even in memory keeping, you can make pockets. And because sometimes, you know, with it being Valentine's, don't you think you might get maybe a little something like a Valentine? Or if you get flowers, you'll get a card. Now, you can directly adhere it down. But sometimes you just want to pull it out and look at it. So I thought, let's make a pocket. Let's, you can make it big, you can make it little, you can make it however you want. But um, I really wanted, I'm hoping that, yeah. So, and I have not gotten any of my stuff done. I got to get it done. So I am going to use all these cute sentiment heart type, what do they call these? Talking hearts? And they are going to reinforce my corners. I know. Aren't those cute? All right. So um, you can get them perfect. You can not. You can turn them. I'm going to turn mine. Because one of the things I've always known is if you kind of put it on kind of abstract, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just doesn't. It can be wonky. It can be whatever you need it to be. All right, so I am just going to do it like that. And then one more, Sweet Pea. So, did you know I had a pup named Sweet Pea? When my husband and I were first married. <laughs> it was the sweetest dog. Oh, okay. So, and you may just have to hold them down for a second. And then I am going to also put that in there. So if I get any kind of special gift or something I want to record, um, this is just a little, um, hold on, I'm going to put stickers on it too, so hold on, but it's just a little card area, and I can write down what I think, what we did, where we went for dinner, things like that, I'm going to put that in there, and I'm also going to put pictures in there, and I'm probably going to put a picture right here of my husband and I, because it's our anniversary this week, so I am going to do that, I am going to put, I have two little hearts and our wedding if you did if I am told you was um I didn't know that was gonna be bigger um his color was burgundy mine was dusty rose so in that perfect I mean I don't know how it turned out that this was even in the kit I picked up um because I think there were some other colors too but I just thought that is just perfect when I pulled it out today and his burgundy was a little more burgundy but you know we're just gonna enjoy it all right, so there's that, and then here's this. Isn't that cute? I love this. Now, you have to know how hard it was for me not to add in Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse here. Yeah, because I always do Minnie and Mickey for anniversary. So that's going to go in there. Um, I've got this I'm going to put down. Now, we have had anniversaries where it is just freezing. We've literally had freezing days on our anniversary, I think we had snow on our anniversary one year here in Texas, which is so weird. But, um, yeah. Um, so I have a snowflake, but I was, we went to the garden center this morning and the gal was saying, um, no, she said, oh, it looks like, you know, this, I don't think we're going to get much. And, and we have this discussion about Groundhog Day and all that. And I said, oh, okay. 
And I thought she was saying it backwards, but that's okay. I even like asked my husband, I got to look it up online. But um, anyways, because he was the one that read the article. You know, he, he always tells me his favorite movie is Groundhog Day. So one of his favorites. So I, I pulled out this and I know for how oh, I just hit my hand um, for all of you that live up north. You guys are still having snow probably, but I did hear like Michigan was in the 60s. We are just like, what? So um, usually they're pretty snowed in right now, but um, you know, and I was watching on the little morning thing I like to watch and they were saying New York was getting warmer. I mean, this is a weird year for weather. I can tell you that much. Um, I was talking to the gal um, after we got back, I had a Walmart order being delivered and, um, and she's been out here before. She's been really, she was actually super nice and brought me the medicine when, um, our daughter first got sick and she had to wait on me and she was, cause I was in town picking up stuff as well. And, um, because I had to get the test, you know, to be sure. And anyway, she was just super nice and we, we, we talked for a while and she lived kind of all over. And so she was like, yeah, man, this weather is just so mild. And, and I just said, oh, no, it can get cold, <laughs> you know. Um, but you're right. We don't have it like other states. I said, you know. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> so my husband grew up in um, the north, and he he's like, me. I mean, it's great to visit. Just don't want to do it anymore. We're getting old. We don't want to, we don't want to battle it. So look at all these stickers. So I am just going to cut this in half. And these are going to be my stickers that, as I print out my pictures, if I want to put a, I'm going to show you an example. So I have a sprocket, and the sprocket is so much fun. And this, the pictures are about that big, maybe a little bit longer. And so if I decide I'm going to glue that there, I, and I just put that little raccoon there on the corner holding it down, or maybe I just want to put that um, heart up here holding that down. I mean, there's all kinds of things we can do with it. And um, if I wanted to, I could put, you know, pictures over here. I could even probably get a three and a half by five or the different sizes. Um, so just, you know, get a sticky note and say, hmm, let me cut this down to the size of my pictures. Now, I will tell you, I trim and crop every picture. I do not give up real estate for, you know, partial bottles of whatever on this side like if this were your drink and that were this side of it I don't need that I don't need that in my picture so I trim like crazy and I save as much as I can space so um, I have a sprocket I have an Epson picture printer um, I may or may not work on that this week I've even sat twice again loaded the um, the app for Walgreens and it was a nightmare it was, it dumped my pictures twice and I thought, okay, I'm stopping now. I'm, I'm, I done. <laughs> After my uh, nephew, I done, I done. So I also wanted to show you that I gave everybody, I think 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. They are in like the automotive type area. I don't know why, but they are. I always, I bought them there for, I don't know how many years and then just cut them in half. And then you can pop your pictures up. Isn't that cute? I know. It's so stinking easy. You get more bang for your buck. You could even cut these in thirds or fourths. So um, you can cut across here and you'd have four. I know. So um, I never, well, I sometimes use a full size, but I don't always. So um, I will pop this in here too. And that's that. I am ready to take this for my week. I can, um, I'm just gonna put one strip in. Um, I'm also, I have letters here to decorate with, so I can pop that in. And then while we're out and about, um, on our, our, um, whenever we get away, or if we go out to eat this week, I've got this, I can come home, print out my picture and have fun and journal it. So what are you going to do for your memory keeping this week? please leave it in the comments below. Are you going to have anything special? And it doesn't have to be that you're married or you have to have a boyfriend or you have to have anything. Um, you know, cause I even have stuff for my granddaughters that I'll be sending, but it could be that you go hang with your girlfriends or you go, um, you make a special 
gift for your parents. I remember when it was my parents, um, my par it was the one time a year we would get away with our kids and uh, my parents would keep them and because we were anniversary. And then my mother would tell me every year, you know, your father and I met at a Valentine's dance, <laughs> you know, blah, blah, blah years ago. And it was like, that's right. I remember. And, you know, she'd always, she always just said it with the sweetest look in her face. And so my father was always very sweet about honoring that. And, um, anyways, but I just, I just always remember that. So I always made them a little something. I made them a little basket of treats or whatever. I always brought them something. And so, um, I just reglued that if you wonder what I was doing. Um, it just was an opportunity to love them. So maybe your dad's not with you nor you just have your mom. Wouldn't that be the sweetest thing to take her out for lunch or go get her a special, you know, chocolate dipped strawberries. I'm going to do chocolate dipped strawberries. I'm just going to use the, you know, the alternative sugar. So there's all kinds of things you can do. So love the ones you're with, your kids, your grandchildren, your, your spouse, your neighbor, your um, Bible study leader, your pastor and your pastor's wife, especially, um, just remember all those sweet people in your life and, uh, record the memories. Okay, guys. Okay. That's it for our, oh, our Bible. I mean, our faith journal, but hold on now. See, this is great. I could have put this in there if I was afraid that was going to stick. Hold on. I think I'm going to put it in here just in case. All right. I'm going to let that go. And then I will put that back afterwards, but let's read a little bit of encouragement. Um, let me see. Okay, so we last talked about agape and phileo or phileo, phileo love. Um, I am excited. So now we are going to talk about lo love suffers long. It is patient. So this was our last week's verse. Um, the Greek word mean meant long tempered vines exposition ex, expository expository. Okay. I'm tired. Sorry, guys. Can you tell Vine and I have it right behind me sitting on the shelf expository dictionary of new Testament words says, I'm going to try muck roth umia describes that quality of self restraint restraint in the face of proclamation provocation that does not hastily retaliate or promptly punish. Another commentator that kind of goes a little bit with this week's verse too, real love does not re retaliate or seek or to get even. It does not embrace bitterness, but patiently endures. Um, it recognizes and deals with the heartaches it faces without becoming vengeful in response. This quality of love yeah. Jesus, Jesus love enables a person to do what others say they could never do to love those that are your enemies. Basically, um, I'm just adding that, um, that was Joan's case. Her, okay. I'm not going to go into all of that. Hold on. Okay. Such willingness to resist becoming a, res uh, becoming resentful does not mean that past sins are easily or painlessly forgotten. We've all gone through difficulties, but real love doesn't give way to bitter resentment. It suffers long. Okay. Love that suffers long does not require those have been hurt to remain or re-enter harmful situations. Real love requires that our actions grow out of the right attitude. And that's true. Um, guys, we all have unhealthy relationships that we've either had or are currently in, and you have to have healthy boundaries and that's okay. Um, you can also pray for the people that maybe you can't be around anymore because it's too toxic. You can pray for them. All right. Real love is kind. According to, to Greek scholar A.T. Robertson, the Greek word translated kind can also mean useful or gracious. If we see, if we keep in mind that the purpose of real love is to seek the welfare of the one loved, then we see why real love must not be that uh, uh, must not only be patient, but gracious. So have you ever known somebody who does things, but it benefits them? Yeah, we all do. Oh, I got you this, da, 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 da. but it benefits them. You know what I mean? All right. So it's not that that's not what real love is. 
Um, kindness, not harshness, is more apt to encourage another uh, another person. Just as Proverbs says that a soft answer turns away wrath in fifteen chapter fifteen verse one, so does that. Um, so love that is practical and useful brings out the best in um, the one being loved. Okay, being gentle and full of grace is a Christ-like quality. John fourteen or John one fourteen. Sorry. Um, look at the way Jesus described himself to those in need of his help. Come to me, all who are who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And that is in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 29. Um, here's a description of the strongest and most loving person, person Jesus, uppercase B, in the world. Uh, the world has ever known strong enough to create the universe and wise enough to stand against the hypocrisy and self-centeredness of the most powerful people of his day. Yet he did so while being full of both truth and grace. Jesus reminds us that while we love, um, while love calls for truth, truth expressed without kindness is not loving he reminds us that while love calls for patience, patience without kindness is not loving either. Hold on, guys. I've got to scooch. I was scooching down the seat. Sorry. When you hear that, like, you know, popping, that's me scooching down the leather. Okay. Um, or fake leather. I think this is, I don't know, probably is pleather. Um, and then re I'm going to only cover one more. Real love does not envy. Um Continuing his descriptions of love, Paul said that the real love does not resent the blessings, the successes, or well-being of another. Love does not say, if I can't have what I want, I don't want you to have it either. That is, I mean, we may think that. I mean, that's that can be real. Instead, real love says, I can be happy for you, even if I never achieve this, the accomplishments, recognition, or comfort you are enjoying. While I might wish myself more, I could not wish you less. Um, and that's a funny way. You have to be careful. People will misunderstand that statement. So you have to make sure that they, you may have to say that twice. Let me say that again. While I might wish myself more, I could not wish you less. In other words, I want you to have it all. Okay, Paul uses both positive and negative examples to present a full understanding of nature and function of love in the life of a believer. This is no envy nature of real love is perhaps its most frequently encountered aspect. How many times have we seen other people prosper while we struggle to get by? Even Jesus' own disciples argued among themselves over who should have the most significant place of honor. You ever been with somebody and they always call shotgun, you know, and you're getting in the car, shotgun, shotgun. And I always felt bad for like, because I was an older child. I always felt bad for the little ones because the older ones were always smart enough to plan ahead and think ahead and call that stuff. Or sometimes there are siblings who would bully their way in, you know, physically force them out. Now, I mean, I didn't do that and we weren't allowed to do that, but I do know there are those that did that. So, um, I just, yeah. Anyways. Okay. The scriptures don't say that we should be able to lose a job without disappointment or a relationship without pain. Paul doesn't say that if we have love, we won't have feelings or personal loss or sadness, but he does say that if we have real love, we will not envy our own pain will not be an excuse to feel ill will for that to, to feel, to feel ill will. Sorry, say that fast for those who appear to be getting a better break than we are. How can we love with such grace? Only with the enablement of the spirit of Jesus Christ. The secret of goodwill in disappointment is a deep confidence in a provider God who is also our shepherd and father. Disappointments will come. Unfair circumstances will test our faith as well as our love. Yet we can be disappointed for ourselves and still show love to others if we have learned to trust in God. So I'm going to tell you a story and I don't want you to think I'm 
bragging about this at all. But I remember thinking later, wow, doesn't everybody think like that? So I know. So we were, we had been in Boston and we came home. My husband had been laid off. He was one of three guys um, that weren't originally from Texas, but lived in Texas. And we were laid off first and we had to wait because our landlord would not let us out of our lease. And then we had to extend out a month because then we didn't have a place to go to. And it just got really bad. I mean, it got bad fast. And, you know, not having a paycheck, that rent was through the roof. I mean, it was, I think it was like almost three times what we were paying. It was crazy. And that was for our mortgage payment. And so, and we just didn't have, we had half the house. There was no fence backyard. It was a postage stamp lot. It was just, Wow. I mean, it was a beautiful home, and the, and the landlord done a fantastic job, but it was just not what we were used to. And um, anyways, we had come back to Texas. We were living. We could not move back into our home. We had to lease our home out, and we couldn't afford it. We, you know, the dot-coms had all crashed. We didn't, My, you know, my husband couldn't find a, a, a job like he'd previously had. And so he decided, well, I need to go back to school. And I said, okay. So he went back and got his MBA and he, and he took enough hours to sit for a CPA. And, um, in the middle of that, we were living in the hill country and my family had a spare townhouse. So we were able to live in it. And the great thing was, um, we would go for these gorgeous drives, you know, after church on Sunday, we go for a drive and it was just breathtaking scenery. It was just beautiful. And we would go look and you could see, like, I had friends that lived in mansions, literally mansions. I mean, like, drop your jaw. They hand designed, hand built, every little thing, mansions. And, uh, sorry, they're getting loud down there. They just came in, so I'm going to talk a little louder. <laughs> Anyways, and so um, they, we we would drive and, you know, and, and like my friends would invite me over and we'd scrapbook together and, you know, that kind of stuff. It was just, you know, just sweet. Um, had a lot of wonderful Christian friends, had homeschooling friends, and then these were my scrapbooking friends. And so it was great. And some were believers, some weren't. So it was just a wonderful opportunity to get to know different people and love different people. And I remember one Sunday, because we'd always go to church and then go for a drive afterwards. And we had done that for years and years and years, even when we lived in San Antonio. And I wanted to go home. I wanted to go to San Antonio. San Antonio was La Familia to me. Everybody was family. Everybody was kind. Um, I, I very rarely found a stinky, grumpy person. It happened, but it was pretty rare. Um, if your car broke down, it wasn't one person was going to help you. It was like 15 people were going to help you. It was just night and day. It was just amazing. And um, anyways, um, we were driving, you know, in the hill country and um, like we did when we lived in San Antonio, we were driving around and my husband would always stop at Ace and get popcorn for everybody because they had popcorn. And then um, he and the kids would get sodas and they were gross. They would like mix the different soda flavors. It was a fountain, soda fountain. And so they'd mix all the flavors. It was just gross. Um, I can't remember. I'm, I'm sure I drank soda, but I, I don't remember. But probably, yeah, I was still drinking soda at that time. So I had a, I'd have a soda. And of course, I love popcorn. I could eat a bat of popcorn. That was my all-time favorite thing and I haven't had it for a long time so it was but it was really you know I love popcorn so we go for a drive and we would try to find land and dream and think you know what if we bought land here and we rebuilt here and we sold the house or what if we did this or what if we did that and my husband was very drawn to a very agrarian lifestyle you know living having livestock having gardens having all that and so um, cause we had friends who are very agrarian and they're like, so of course I had been in FFA, you know, I knew a lot of the, the stuff, a lot I didn't know, but a lot, I, I knew quite a bit. And of course I had family that had ranches and then my dad grew up with farming. And so anyways, but, um, so I remember one day we were driving by and there was this, um, beautiful, I think it was, was it a house or maybe in a neighborhood? I, I can't, maybe it was a house. And maybe they had finished it. And I told my husband, I said, oh, I'm so happy for them. How exciting they're going to get to move in or whatever I said. You know, but I was so genuinely excited for them. I remember just like thanking God that they had their home and how beautiful it was and 
praying for their family and, you know, the memories that would be made there and, and, you know, I'm praying for the struggles they'd have, but also the blessings they'd have. And, um, and my husband, he like stopped and said something like, wow, I can't believe, wow. And I was like, what? And he goes, well, you don't have a home right now. Um, you know, the townhouse was, it, we went from big gated community to this little house in, um, Boston, you know, outside of Boston to like a third of that space. It was crazy in the townhouse. And, you know, we had put stuff in storages. Things were getting damaged in storage. I was just, it was a crazy situation. And he was like, I just can't believe he, is that really how you feel? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I be happy for him? That's wonderful. He was like, wow. You know, and he was really sweet about it. I mean, he went on more, but I remember thinking about that later that, well, yeah, I'd love to have a house. I'd love for my children to be back in a neighborhood. I'd love for my children to be back in our comfy little place in San Antonio with all of our friends and, you know, back in our homeschooling things and our church and all just the different things. And I realized in time um, that was not going to happen. And uh, we ended up moving here and, you know, and, and it's all good. It's all good. But the thing that, um, you know, is interesting for us is in that journey, there was a lot of hurt. There was a lot of hurt. We had stepped out of God's will. I knew we were stepping out of it. And there was a lot of pain in that journey. And we were basically told the first day to go home. I mean, literally go home. We got letters that told us to go home. We got, I mean, it was just hate speech. I mean, seriously, it was back when nobody knew that term. It was crazy. And, um, and like people would ask me things like, well, you're not from here, are you? And be like, no, ma'am or no, sir. You know, and they're like, wow, you really aren't from here, <laughs> you know? And, um, you know, and, and I, I didn't care what your ethnicity was or what, you know, anything I didn't, I, you're just a person, you're somebody God made. And so I would talk to everyone and be kind and try to be kind and encourage and, um, and there were people that didn't like that. And then there were people that would be like, wow, okay, you know, and there's some fun stories that God did some wonderful things. And then there were, we met some in, in the um, Asian community, we met some of the sweetest, most kindest people under the sun that kind of took us in because nobody would, we couldn't fit anywhere. Um, we were from the South. We had a multicultural family. Um, it just, we just wouldn't fit. And I was told you're not going to fit. You know, you're not going to fit for three generations. That was like day two. And then, um, yeah. And so it just kind of got weird, you know, for us. But I, I remember when we came home and then we couldn't go home. We couldn't come. We, we came home to Texas, but we couldn't go home. And it was heartbreaking. And our kids were heartbroken because it was another do-over. It was another do-over. Though their grandparents were close by, though we did not burden them, we wanted to give them lots of space. Uh, we tried to be very respectful of their time. Um, my parents never babysat, but the once a year when we went on our anniversary trip, um, you know, uh, occasionally my mom would be the phone call, you know, because our oldest daughter was getting to the age where she could babysit and she'd taken all the courses. And so if I were going to be gone like 30 minutes in town that was five minutes away, she could, you know, she could be the backup because my mom was five minutes away, you know, kind of a thing. So, um, and my dad and anyways, but so I just remember, you know, being, you know, sad. Yes. For us, but I didn't want anything less for somebody else. I wanted them to have as much as God had for them. And yes, I wanted what God had for us. And in time, God blessed us. Um, it, we may have been out of his perfect will, but he allowed us back in his permissive will. And that was a blessing. And it's all about the attitude of the heart. And I didn't always have a good attitude. I'm going to lay that out. I'm going to be so honest. Um, I struggled with that journey. I struggled. I mean, it's hard to be somewhere where your children are not being treated well. And it just, there was a lot of stuff that took place in that period of time. And then we met incredible people too. You know, I mean, it wasn't like God didn't bless us. He did, but it, it was not going to be instant. It was going to take a while. You know, you, you know, one great thing is I could see Beth Moore up there. I know. And Cece Winan. It was just great. But um, it, it just, you know, there were 
And that was a hard thing to do. That was really hard. It was so hard to go do those kinds of things. But, you know, God is a gracious God and he will teach us and he loves us. And, and in those moments where we go through these things in life where we may fail, yes, I'm going to say we may fail. We may fall on our face, do it all wrong, but God can teach us. And um, Satan wants to remind us all the time where we failed, where we've screwed up, where we've sinned, where we've disobeyed God. And, and we even as parents can do that, trying to teach a lesson to our children, but we have to like step back and even our spouses, you know, but we have to step back, trust God, give it to him and let him teach the lesson. And that's, that's the most beautiful lesson of all. You know, have you ever driven down the road? And this is my husband. I love my husband, my sweet husband. Um, he will, he will map to our church every time we go. And it's like, why do you do that? You know how to get there. The road hadn't changed. There's nothing going to be different. Why do you do that? You know, or he'll map to the grocery store. I'm like, what? The grocery store's five minutes away. You waste more time mapping. You know, he doesn't have a great inner compass. Um, it's something that I didn't realize in the beginning because he'd always print out maps. He'd always have maps. We join triple A and have them put together maps. And I was like, wow, you know, um, okay. Um, and, and I'm, you know, what's silly is, you know, it doesn't bother me, you know, and what also doesn't bother me is, you know, when you're driving down the highway and you see a scenic loop, take the scenic loop, enjoy the ride and you know, take your time. You're not, you're not trying, what are you trying to beat the clock for? What, what are you, what's waiting on the other end? You know, sometimes you have to, you adhere to a timetable, but sometimes just enjoy the journey. And so, um, but the joke is he'll get in the car He'll do all these things and then he'll make a wrong turn or he'll think he's missed his turn or he'll, and I'm always like five more minutes, just give it five more minutes. And if you took the wrong turn, then let God teach you in the journey. Enjoy the scenic route. And he, for, you know, he, he just struggles with that. And so it's a great lesson for us all to just enjoy the journey. Now, you don't want to get turned off on a bad place or go down a bad alley or, you know, things like that. But and we've done a few of those. <laughs> but um, there are times where we just need to sit back and let God take the reins, let Jesus take the wheel, and just let him guide you. And that's a blessing. And count it all joy, my friends. Count it all joy. So when I look back at Boston... I may not be ready to count it all joy yet. I mean, it's been a long time, 24 years, but, um, 23 years, but I do, I do see blessings on it. I do. There were some things that were amazing. We got to see some amazing history. Um, we met some interesting people and some good friends. We learned a lot and, um, you know, I, I'm just grateful for that. And we had people that came and rescued us. After my husband was laid off, there was a couple and they decided they were going to give us all their moving boxes, all their paper. She had saved every shred of paper. She was, I think, originally from the Philippines. He was um, Caucasian. Anyways, um, and they took care of our children so my husband and I could pack. They put us up um, the last two nights as we were packing everything out. We didn't have air conditioning. It was the middle of summer. Um, we were dying in our, car, our house. We had bought a window unit for our bedroom because it was so humid um, that we were dying. I mean, we were just not used to it. And sorry, they're having a good time. And then, um, but they, she cooked us like a Thanksgiving feast last night. I mean, turkey. Um, she made, you know, like not just green beans. She went and bought fresh green beans and put almonds. And I mean, it was the most amazing meal I'd ever had. We were starving. We've been eating just whatever we could find to eat. Um, and they gave us a sweet card. They put us up in this really nice room with a stack of videos. We got our shower. We crawled in bed after we ate and, and they came, he came and helped pack. He helped, literally helped us pack because we had to pack and load on a shipping truck. Yes, a shipping truck, uh, two shipping trailers and, um, and then clean the house. And the amazing thing was 
we got ready to leave and she had this card for me and she said, here, I want you to take this. And I said, what? And she said, just let us know you got there safely. But if anybody gets sick on the way home, you have something. And it was a gift card to Walmart for a hundred dollars. Guys, that was 24 years, 23 years ago. Who had money like that? I just remember being so humbled by somebody that God provided in our lives. And they had a big, beautiful home with all the, you know, amazing things. And, and, uh, they had a big barn garage and they lived out on this beautiful property. And I never thought once about being jealous. Never once. I mean, I was just so grateful for them. And I look back now and I realize, wow, they really had it nice, you know, but it was, it was one of those things where they were so kind and they did not live extravagantly. They lived very frugally. And I was so honored to know them. And so Evie and Wayne, if you're out there and you ever hear this, you will never know how much you touched our family and how much you loved my children and you loved my husband and I. But God does that. That is love, my friends. That is love. So let me read the scripture and then I will let you go. I'll pray and I'll let you go. Sorry. Um, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 um, through 8. So I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time. It's really dark for me. Um, it's gotten dark. So hang with me. And then I get a shine. So, you know, love is patient. And, and I kind of want to do, I'll just do, love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love does not brag. It is not arrogant. It does not act disgracefully. It does not seek its own benefit. It is not provoked, does not keep an account of wrong suffered. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. It keeps every confidence. It believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. But if there are gifts of prophecy, they will be done away with. If there are tongues, they will cease. If they, there is knowledge, it will be done away with. When you think about what God gives us in love, that unconditional, incredible, selfless love, there is nothing more selfless than to send your child to hang on a cross, to be ridiculed, to be beaten, to be stabbed with a sword, to be treated badly, to be ridiculed. And yet, and yet he did it for the sake of our sin because he loves us. What an awesome God we serve. What an awesome God. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you for coming to this earth to pay that price on that middle cross. Lord, I pray right now that as everybody prays and thinks about this next week, that we can lay it at your feet. We can be in your will. We can seek your way and we can be pleasing to you, Lord. Lord, I pray for each and every one of my friends. I pray for anybody who is ill or not feeling well. And there's so many of our sweet ladies in this group that, that feel um, ill right now. And I pray that you bless them or they have loved ones that are ill. Lord, I pray you guide their steps, heal their hearts, heal their, their minds, their spirit, their emotions, and their bodies. Lord, I also pray right now for um, people that are struggling in their work. We pray that you would bless them. You would guide their steps. You would show them your will and your way. Lord, I also pray for those who are having a hard time paying their bills. I pray that you would provide. You are the provider, Lord. And please show them your way quickly, quickly. Please let nobody be without something to eat. Lord, I also pray for wisdom that everyone here would know who to go to, to walk with wise men, to seek you, pray to you, read your word, know your word, be in fellowship so that when they are in difficult situations, they can turn to you. Lord, please help us as we go through the rest of this weekend. We've got Super Bowl Sunday. Help people um, be where you need them to be. For us, there will be something at our church and we're deliberating whether we'll stay or we won't. We will go to Bible study, but we'll probably, right as of right now, we'll, we'll leave. And that's okay. If that's where God's called you, then that's what you do. And I mean, our we know our church is going to have a thing in the middle. and We're totally thrilled by that. But Lord, we know um, we have different priorities this week. And um, in the words of my husband, he can come home and watch highlights and he'd be happy. So um, I'm easy with that, Lord. And you can also help me to get things ready for the week so I can prepare and finish up all of our, um, our kits. 
Lord, we ask for your blessing on this channel, for your blessing on these faith journals. Help us to seek you and know you and serve you well. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Okay, lastly, the one thing I did not do. Sorry, guys. I'm stuffy all of a sudden. I am going to make this my scripture writing page. Um, probably right here. And then this will be, um, again, um, my to-do list for Peanut. <laughs> my youngest. She is now back up more. She's first day she's gone down to play games. So, yeah. And then I am going to do my scripture writing here. And, again, I love my little board. I got this at Daiso. I just put a piece of paper in there, put a printed out my scripture, and I'm good to go. Put some stickers down. Decorated just fast. It's fun. So, um, but I think... I was even thinking I might do that, but I think it's a little bit longer this week. I'll wait and save that for a shorter week. So, all right. And when I use my writing board, I just lift it up and put it underneath. And that's how I write. And it's super easy. Okay, friends. I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. I love you guys. Whoops. Leave a comment below to encourage each other. This channel, let's build community. Let's encourage each other in the Lord. And let's serve him well. All right, friends, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. But as much as I love you, Jesus loves you so much more. Keep seeking him. All right, friends. Bye now.